Hey guys, Arcade Adam here, and in this one today, we're gonna show you how to add X input support to a new PC game, or maybe one we missed on Omega. So get buckled up. Here we go. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in. X input support basically makes your new and modern games that you buy ready to play in your control panel. So let's find your games in the PC wheel. Right click edit and we're going to go to the additional app section. And if there's nothing there, this is this is what we need to do. You're in the right place. So you go down to add application at the bottom and then you're gonna call it X input. The name doesn't matter, you can make it whatever you want, but just to help organize, we call it X input. We browse to the LaunchBox tools directory. So there's tools there, or there's a tool shortcut right underneath LaunchBox, take your pick. In the tools folder, uh, inside the LaunchBox folder, it's called uh, X arcade X input. And then we go inside another folder called X arcade X input to find the main application. You click that and then you click open. Uh, after that we need our command line arguments which is dash dash skip dash UI. I'll have that in the link in the description below. Or not a link, the uh, example. <laughs> uh, just so you know exactly the command line because if you don't put that in you get this ugly pop-up. Uh, which is great, you know, if you want to tweak things and choose your profiles, but we'll cover that in a later video. That's fancy flying. Um, just know that, you know, you can change things, and here's the code. It's not rocket science. We're not trying to be super top secret about things. It's literally take this keyboard key and send an Xbox button instead. And the way this works so well is because it actually makes real Xbox controllers in your device control panel, so the game knows nothing better. So anyway, skip UI. And the last thing you need to check is automatically run before the game. So that checkbox, you hit OK. And you're halfway done. The next thing you need to do is you need to add another uh, application. So the second application, all it does is close X input after you're done. Because maybe the next game you're playing, it doesn't need it. So I label this kill X input, label it whatever you want, browse to another application again. You're already in the right folder. We've got two of them, kill X input. And if it's um, space sensitive, we just you know changed one to not have the space. They do the same thing. And the last and third thing you need is automatically run after the application. So it closes it. So it's just slightly different from that first step. Now you're ready to uh, test the game. So we launch the game. You get the uh, badoops as we call them and the command line window. Now in big box, when you start it in there, it'll hide this, you won't see it. And oh, actually, this is a good example because this game is still screwed up because it's loading the uh, keyboard killer and the VJoy script. So we gotta get rid of that. I'll show you how to do that in a second after this loads. Okay, through the magic of video editing, I just cut out that part where the game loaded the weird um, VJoy driver that I wanna get rid of. And like I said, this is a perfect example because a game that's not set X up for X input might still be loading this. So what you want to do is jump back in the game, go to the launching tab, and this is what actually launches the game. So right now we're pulling this shortcut, um, and we don't want to do that because the default shortcut includes those VJoy scripts you got to get rid of. So what you do is you browse to the game itself. Here's all the scripts. Now you got to find the game executable. So injustice2.exe in this case, and then hit OK. And then it's uh, going to update the path, and you just hit yes. So now you're launching the game without all the scripts, X input comes in behind it. We get the Badoops. That's literally like plugging in Xbox controllers. It's gonna take in your control panel keyboard keys and assign it to the game. And the game thinks you have an Xbox controller. So the, the other uh, benefit to this is a lot of games will change the on-screen prompts to like the green A button, the red B button, blue X, etc. So you can see if you have LED Blinky, the buttons will light up red, green, yellow, and blue, and you know exactly which one to hit based on what the game is telling you. All right, here we go. Here's our game. We're loading up. Um, what you want to do, obviously, after you do this is test it. So uh, let's go ahead and get in the game. And one of the most important things to test is the two-player controls. That's the biggest leap in this uh, method because 
everybody can set up these fighting games for one keyboard, one player. But what this Xbox X input does is enable two players. Oh, and there's the uh, prompts. You got the green A button, the red B button. That's a giveaway that you know you've got it working correctly. The game sees it as an Xbox controller and puts changes it to those prompts. And then, like I said, we got to jump in, do some uh, arcade style fighting. We'll do multiplayer. We'll do a versus battle. Um, so a lot of games will say, please press the select con on your controller. So that's the coin button. That's what we map to. So select is coin. So there's player one. We're moving on the joystick. And if we hit uh, uh, select on player two, we should get a player two prompt. So we're going to do... Superman. Is that Superwoman, I guess? No. It's, anyway, Supergirl. not up on the DC stuff. <laughs> we got two players. That's the point. So Superman versus female Superman. <laughs> and uh, just go in here and do some basic tests. Up, down, left, right. Uh, most fighters these days are at least six buttons. So test your buttons and do seven and eight if it uses it. Um, and then make sure both characters... Are working need to stop. and uh, you're up and running. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's and you'll see, I'm just going to go through Begin. here and uh, test the directionals back, forward, like I said, up, down, and then do the same for Superman and then test the attacks. And this also helps you figure out, like, okay, is it a four button? Is it a three button, five button, that kind of thing? So you can figure out what those are. And then here's your moves list. So, and it's even color coded, just like I said. So guys, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe. Uh, these are going to be a bunch of Omega tutorial videos coming out soon. So uh, get subscribed to the playlist, share the channel, and let your buddies know. Thanks.